So there's the Pacific Ocean, there's a triangle. Okay, and over here, Indian Ocean, there's a triangle. And over here is the Atlantic Ocean, there's a triangle. And where the quadrilaterals are, which should be where the land is, because it's four, and Earth is four. So what's really neat is that this little island right here, Australia, is almost a quadrilateral. Look, it's in the quadrilateral, and it even has its shape. Of course, now the other one uh, is moved over to the side here a little bit. And then, of course, India is right in where it's supposed to be. Now, I ask myself, why are these continental shifts moving? Why don't they all stay at the equator? Because you know if you spin a, a sand that's in a sphere, it's going to go to the equator. The land masses aren't moving that way. They started here, and they're going up past the equator. And I think that's why, that's why I think that's they're going up to these points. No one else has an explanation. I'm waiting for one. <laughs> Pretty hot because when this spins, when this spins on the bottom, it turns into a circle. That circle that's turning in the earth, wherever I put it, there it is down there. <laughs> that circle is the same size, I measured it, you know, I do it with geometry, whatever, as accurate as I can. It's the same size as the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> Where is this form in the world? Where is this form in the world? That was my big, I, I had two years on figuring this out. Where it manifests. Rudolf Steiner said, in the fourth dimension, go, go get it, the fourth dimension, he says that the archetype has an idea. And the manifestation of that idea, right in between the two, is geometry. So geometry is a step between manifestation, manifestation, and the idea. Okay. Uh, this is what uh, Rudolf Steiner said in uh, true and false past the spiritual investigation. He said that the goal which demands of us to seek the Saturn influences everywhere, which is um, warmth, heart, health, uh, just as in the earlier stages we advanced spiritually through the practice of meditation, so now through identification with the search for Saturn for the inner spiritual structure of each organ we penetrate into the Jupiter spirit, the next one, and come to recognize that every organ, in an effect, is the terrestrial counterpart of a divine spiritual being. I found that this is an organ. And I did that. I'll show you exactly how I found it. In the heart. I thought it was a rosebud, and I did half the of rosebuds to see. And it isn't. When I've got this model of the heart, there is a triangle at the bottom, mm -hmm. which is this triangle. That triangle at this part right here, there is a triangle. And when there's a triangle, it flattens out to a flat surface and turns to another triangle. That's what the heart does. The heart ran up to a triangle, and then it flattens out. And it did it everywhere. Triangle flattens out. Triangle flattens out. Well, that was my clue that maybe this was it. So now here we go again. What's in the center of the Earth? How could I possibly prove that this is the heart? Because there's no geometry of the heart that I looked on. I'm in, oh, on the internet, and in 30 books, and uh, San Francisco uh, State University, well, not State University, but the University of California, San Francisco, medical section I checked out. 30 books, because I had a person who had a medical card to check them out. And I spent <laughs> two years. And I found, um, okay. First, I found out that the heart sits in a cube. And all its plumbing, which are mainly made of arteries, veins, atriums, little entrances, are all at root two. That's root two. 
of a cube. So, and it also, they all say that this separates the atrium from the valves and the uh, ventricles separate with hardly any. We just put the heart in a little bit of boiling water and it separates. Very little attachment. So I feel that that is the shape of the human heart. And I've got it in a cube because that's where this form comes from. This form comes from a cube. So this is the form that's in the cube. This is how it fits in the cube. So if I sit this like this in my front of my body, you can see that that form fits at root two. It's sitting in there at root two. If I look at the top, it's also sitting at root two, going from there to there. Top, front, side, also root two. <coughs> so, so is that really true? Is that what the heart is really doing? So I got some x-rays of the human heart seen from the top. Well, here's the spinal cord. Well, it's angle. That's a, that's that's getting pretty close. From the front, there's the heart right there. It doesn't sit like this. And from the side view, it's turning the opposite direction. So this should be 45, this should be 45, and that should be 45. And it is. The heart in your body sits in a cube. It's a super sensible cube. <laughs> so you know that there's no cube in us. If it is, it's got to be round. <laughs> so I made the cube in minimum surfaces and put the form in minimum surfaces and put them together and this is how it's done. 45, 45, 45. It's interesting. Look at the cube when it turns into this. It's a beautiful shape. And I have them all scratched off into four and I know exactly where these points are. Okay, so I put the form into minimum surfaces, here it is. And I made it so I could spin it. Now let's see what the doctors say the heart looks like on the computer. This is the left ventricle. The left ventricle is right here. You can see it's almost perfect size on their computers. Look. This right here, this is the left, this is the right ventricle. Life, the right ventricle is the blood that comes in that's blue and it goes to the lungs. But when it comes out, it comes out into the left ventricle and this is where the etherized blood is and this goes into the aorta and all the way through the body. This is the main <coughs> gut. If you take a knife and you cut this off, which they all do, this falls on the floor like a napkin. It doesn't have really any muscles. This baby's got all the muscles. <laughs> Okay, so the heart is really a big old muscle. Uh, and here is the, this is a picture of the real heart. And this is the ventricle that I've been working with. This is the part that they cut off. Because it's, I'll tell you why they, they could cut it off. But this huge muscle has this form in it. That, that is the uh, uh, mitrid valve. And that's where the blood enters the heart and exits here out the aorta. Okay, so I have to look at the geometry of this, and so I did. And I found out that there is a geometry behind it. But that's why that circle is that size, because there's a triangle. And if I go back to that original form, which I'm not seeing. But anyway, you saw me, there it is. That triangle there, makes these two circles. 